Spiritual awakening takes uh, uh, a long time. Even with effort, it takes a long time. With, more, with no effort, it would take a gazillion years. <laughs> you know, and there's no guarantee. No. It, ta- it takes a long time because basically uh, uh, it takes many, many years, you know, <coughs> many years and lifetimes to uh, accumulate uh, fear, negativities, conditioning, <laughs> like that, that, the energy, you know, it takes many, many lifetimes. Uh, to build that up. See, I, see, 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 I can see, I can see in it, even a photo of a baby. I can look at a photo of a baby and can see the seeds of the conditioning from their past lives continue. I can see how that's going to sprout when they get older. I can see the seeds of it. It, like, it actually shows in the energy field. I can see that. You know? So that shows, that shows that it's many, it's heaps. It's not even this, li- that's past lifetime and in this lifetime, you know, we pick up so much uh, rubbish, you know. We we watch we watch so many uh, movies like uh, that creates fear uh, in our system. <laughs> like you know, we we watch uh, like uh, violent movies. You know, uh, like Rocky Rocky Four and Rocky One, Rocky Four. We watch the Terminator. We we watch horror movies, Exorcist, and Nightmare on Elm Street, all sorts of things. You know. Uh, these type of uh, fear, fear and all sorts of things that create insecurity uh, in us. So we pick it up, uh, you know, at, at, at school, our friends, and you know, we learn, we pick up the conditioning from our, our family passed down. So it's lots, it's lots. So uh, the spiritual journey. Uh, towards enlightenment or towards the, the awakening and ultimate awakening is it's basically a process of letting go and cleaning and cleaning and cleansing and cleansing like that uh, that energy field that conditioning that fear the rules the million rules we have you know if this is broken I don't like it if that person is rude I don't like it that person from that country I don't like it if that person color I don't like it you know and if, if I don't have a job, I'm a loser. If, you know, all, like, if I don't have a relationship, something wrong with me. <laughs> I'm ugly. Like, it's a million, million things, you know, in our the, the conditioning. We have to clear it all out. <coughs> and, that, and that takes time. That takes time. See, uh, see enlightenment. You've got to think like this. Think like this. Imagine you spent two days to clean up the whole house. Vacuum, mop, mop the whole house and vacuum, everything and wipe all the benches, full on, spend two days clean, spotlessly clean. <laughs> you know? Uh, uh, look, 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 let's say you're gonna have a, an engagement, you know, a party, you just spotlessly clean. But even though spotlessly clean, that's not perfectly clean. Because uh, you can still always go to some corner <laughs> Of the house, and, and get your finger and go like that, and go, and, and go like that, and you're gonna see some dust, <laughs> you know. So even though spotlessly clean, it's not every speck of dust clean. And enlightenment means every speck of dust clean. <laughs> True ultimate awakening means you've got absolutely zero fear left in your being. It's zero conditioning. It's all basically surrendered and cleaned out. You offload it to God. <laughs> totally gone yeah the truck came and you offloaded the whole thing and delivered off it went it's in transit you know off it goes totally cleaned out you got nothing no fear left you know no conditioning left you're just empty empty an empty vessel that the divine just flows through your being you like become a perfect instrument of God to just move through your being every word you know, every thought that goes through your mind every word you speak 
every breath you take is basically the God, the source for life for your being. Suddenly, you're full of wisdom. You don't even know, how do I know all this type of stuff? I haven't learned this type of stuff. <coughs> how do I know all this type of stuff? Where does it come from? And you go, oh my God. That's amazing. You know? That's God coming through me. <laughs> That's amazing. You're full of warmth and love and strength. You know? But the strength to take the whole world's pain and trouble and misery on your shoulder and just <laughs> take it all and absorb it all in your being and, and it's cleared out in your inner sun. Boom, burn, all, all gone. <laughs> like that. that. It takes time. It takes time. <laughs> but the most important thing is no, uh, it's not just how long, but that you know it's working, you know. You know your house is being, after one day's cleaning, it's more clean. After two days cleaning, oh my God, it's, very, it's spotless, <laughs> like that. It's working, you're progressing, <coughs> you're progressing, like that, you know. Progressing towards the goal, you're moving forward. That's the main thing. You're actually progressing. You don't want to be on the spiritual journey and, and, and doing uh, thinking. You're watching YouTube and all the spiritual <laughs> teachings and, and uh, you know, and, and you do everything you th of what you call spirituality, but the house is not being clean. <laughs> you're in the house not being more clean. You know, you're not progressing. <laughs> you're not progressing. You know, you're either uh, not doing it properly, or you're basically not doing it right, or not doing it at all. When you might be, th you might be thinking you're cleaning the house, but you're not. You know, you, you might be pushing the vacuum cleaner around, but the, the, but the vacuum cleaning is actually off. There's no power coming through. You're like, it's not working. <laughs> but you think you are doing, but it's not working. The main thing is you've got to make sure you're doing it right and it's working. And the second thing is you don't want to rush there. You don't want to rush there. Because when you rush there, it's totally from the wrong mindset. It's totally from the wrong uh, sponsorship. It's the wrong uh, motivation. You know, wrong motivation. You, you don't want to rush there. You know, on my spiritual journey, I never, I never rush. I never rush forward. I never rush. I just know I do the, everything I can within my power. Everything I can spiritual practice as much as I can and make sure I'm doing it right make sure you know uh, like I'm praying to God for blessings and I make sure I'm kind to others to receive their blessing their good wishes you know to bless my journey you know and for them to you know it gives joy to their life and it cleanses my energy field you know and you know meditate as much as I can from the moment I wake up in the morning my eyes open all the way until my eyes close at night you know you know, meditate all day. It doesn't mean closing my eyes all day. I learn how to meditate uh, with eyes open. So, you know, you do both. You know, most of my meditation, my journey is eyes open, you know, because it's practical. You've got to learn that. So, you know, I do the best, best I can. But the most important thing is I enjoyed it. Like, I, I just feel good. I feel beautiful. I don't need to advance forward somewhere. <coughs> I don't need to reach some place. <laughs> like, I know I'm getting there, and I'm getting there, and I'm, I'm just loving the journey. Like, in some ways, I almost love the journey more than the goal. <laughs> of course, the goal is amazing, you know, it's amazing, but I love the journey almost more than the goal. It's because it's beautiful. When you're like that, you never burn out. <laughs> you never burn out. And the funny thing to be like that is the right attitude, and then you, you fly forward. <laughs> You fly for, you know, and uh, I pray, you know, I pray for you and all those people in the world that they have that type of mindset, you know, they have that goal, you know, to awaken the 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 God self in them, the divinity in them, that beautiful, magnificent goodness in their being, 
I pray for all of them, everybody who has that as their heart felt wish and their goal and they pursue that with all their heart sincerely and humbly you know uh, and 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 uh, with persistence you know and the right attitude I, I pray that they achieve their goal uh, as fast as possible they do say the goal the fastest a person can achieve is three years from beginning to end uh, but I know I couldn't achieve that I couldn't achieve that you know in three years you know I, I was much lower. I think mine's around 13 years or so. <coughs> and I know, I know uh, many other people, like the, the great, great Miller Reaper of Tibet, you know, lived 800 years ago. Uh, and uh, uh, really the Kamapa's lineage today, you know, attain enlightenment. Uh, like from my memory, my guess, I read his book, The Life of Miller, uh, Miller Reaper, a long time ago. But I think he attained enlightenment 12, 13 years <laughs> as well. <laughs> And, uh, you know, and I, I, from my vague memory, I think the Buddha, the Gautama Buddha, you know, he attained enlightenment in similar time as well, <laughs> like 13 years or so, uh, like that. So uh, I pray, you know, <laughs> that uh, those uh, who pursue this goal wholeheartedly, uh, that they can attain <laughs> the goal much faster than me, <laughs> much faster than me, uh, 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 in three years, if possible, <laughs> you know. And, uh, and uh, you know, and uh, if not three years, <laughs> less than 13 years, you know. <laughs> you know, anyway, anyway, you know. It, it is, uh, it is uh, uh, you know, uh, the highest goal in the whole universe, not just on this planet. <laughs> so it's worthy, you know. It's worthy a prize. And that time, you know, that time. Is organic, organic. You know, it takes time. You know, even the fastest <laughs> still takes time. And we rush there. We have got the wrong attitude. We got to change our attitude. You know, start to enjoy. You rush there, you burn out. The wrong attitude, you give up anyway.